We have another big week astrologically coming at us this week. We are going to be getting some really big information about some things this week. And we're also going to be triggering the eclipses that happened in Gemini season. And so there will be themes regarding the past, regarding the future coming up this week and possibly information in regards to those. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aubrey. Today is Monday, August 9th, 2021. And this is my astrological outlook of the day. So Welcome to our new moon in Leo cycle that began yesterday. We are in the seed planting phase. This cycle is all about trying to bring us back in alignment with the true nature of what is authentically in our heart and soul and helping us to come to a place where we can create from our personal, creative, authentic self-expression and be liberated to do so. There are likely to be some big upheavals this month as we move through these energetics because the new moon was in square to Uranus and I made a video all about the new moon in Leo. It will be linked in the description box below if you want to know what is going on this cycle. And I also made readings for all of you for the 12 signs for the new moon in Leo. So that will be linked in the description box as well if you're wondering how these energetics are specifically going to be impacting you. But now let's talk about today what we have going on Monday as we're starting this week. And really, we don't don't have a whole lot of big business going on this week but like I said in the beginning this whole week is really going to be underpinned by this big information that's coming through and that is because we have Mercury moving into opposition with Jupiter retrograde in Aquarius and Jupiter expands things and it also brings truth and it has to do with our belief systems and Mercury is the messenger it rules information communications news media so with Mercury in opposition to Jupiter moving into exact aspect this week and then it will move away but really all week this energy is in effect we can expect some big information some big disclosures, some big awakenings, and just um, a broader sense of awareness coming through this week generally. Now, specifically for today, there are two main things that I'm looking at. Number one, we have the moon moving into Virgo. This means that later today, it's building all day. It will be around um, like midnight, early hours of the a.m. tomorrow when the moon moves into a conjunction with Mars, Mars in Virgo. Mars is currently also coming into a square with the north and the south nodes. And this is why I said that the eclipses are actually going to be being re-triggered this week because when Mars comes into square, Square with the north and the south nodes. The nodes are really what are responsible for our eclipses. And with Mars coming into square, some things that have been, changes that have been trying to happen to move us forward down a new path and also things that we need to let go of in order to go in that direction might surface and be bringing up some type of anger, some type of conflict, some just like really heated feelings over the course of the next um, well, really this week, but the moon is coming into a conjunction with Mars, like I said, tonight. And so today there might be just this like feeling of internal angst or irritation or frustration that's just sort of building. And you may not even really be able to put your finger on it, or it may be because you're genuinely facing like conflicts and issues regarding things that you're really trying to move on from and let go of. And also, um, obstructions or blockages or just conflicts in your pursuit of moving down the path that you want to be going down now. So we have that going on as well. And again, with the moon coming into a conjunction with Mars, the moon rules our feelings, it rules our emotions. And Mars rules anger and aggression and conflict and it also rules passion and motivation and inspiration and stuff like that. So there are a couple ways that we could use this energy. It could definitely be bringing up feelings of like anger and aggression and just that, like I said, making you feel like frustrated and irritated or you could use this energy to really get some passion and some inspiration and some motivation going to put towards your creative pursuits. That's another way that we could use this energy. So there's really two ways that this moon Mars could play out. We can let it get us all riled up and angry and upset, 
or we can use it to really motivate us to take action to do things that we need to do to move forward towards pursuing these goals. So we have this going on. The other thing that we really have going on today, and this is the day when this aspect is coming exact, is we have Venus at 23 degrees of Virgo. And that means that pretty little Venus is coming into an opposition, exact opposition today with the planet Neptune, currently at 23 degrees of Pisces and retrograde. And so today, you guys, this is something that you're probably going to want to take kind of seriously. Be very, very careful with romantic relationships right now, that any romantic relationship that may be beginning or starting right now, be very careful that you are not idealizing the person or the relationship or fantasizing too much about, you know, the future of this person or this relationship because with Venus opposing Neptune, a lot of times things are not really as they appear and especially in regards to with it being Venus romantic relationships neptune rules like illusion and delusion and fantasy and also ideals and with venus the planet of relationships and also venus rules finances too so any type of like business partnership or something if somebody is coming at you with an offer this week or today that seems like a little too good to be true you're probably going to want to hold off on and also in terms of romantic relationships like i said anything that seems a little too good to be true right now you might just want to wait a few days until this aspect passes before you decide that you really want to go ahead and pursue it just because under this energetic things a lot of times can look much more beautiful and idealistic than what they'll actually turn out to be however we should be using this energy today for something else this neptune opposing venus and this energy if we are not being sort of like swept away in our rose colored glasses of illusion and delusion with this is very very good for imprinting our desires through imagination intention and belief this is very good energy for manifesting via being able to really like idealize and fantasize about not other people not our expectations for other people in relationships but about what we really want to create and experience in our lives going forward through this leo cycle how we want to feel how we want our lives to look what outcomes we want to have at the end of this cycle this is a very beneficial energy to use alongside the new moon to help in the process of imprinting those um those ideals of how you want your life to be not a relationship with someone else how you want your life to be going forward through this cycle through this month very beneficial helping us out with that um okay so that's really like the main things that we have going on today it's really just this aspect venus opposing neptune and again you know this is beautiful romanticism and things can feel like fairy tales under this energetic but we just really want to be be careful that we're not being sold something under this that is not actually you know what it seems to be at the moment and also you know with this be careful with like big expensive purchases and stuff like that this is not really the energy where you want to be doing that but it is the energy where you want to be like i said putting setting your intentions imprinting you know the uh invisible like world around us with the ideas the visions of the future that you want to be able to create and feel going forward and they have a very like more um it, like a, a stronger likelihood of really taking hold in the subconscious and unfolding properly the way that you want them to using this energy for that and again like i said we are in this week where we're having mercury and leo coming into the opposition with jupiter and aquarius and the only thing you know i'll talk about this all week and i'll talk about it more as it gets exact but just something that i want to go ahead and tell you guys just about the nature of this for this week you're definitely going to want to be taking care with like details 
in the fine print of things under this energetic um, paying attention to like the little things the little details the fine print like I said because this is such like a grandiose energy that sometimes like the smaller details can sort of get lost in the overall bird's eye view the expansive nature of the mind with this energy but really this energy this week is doing a lot to wake us up it's expanding our minds it's expanding our perspectives it's bringing clarity it's bringing awareness it's bringing truth bringing disclosures and all week we are really primed for finding things out gaining awareness and lots of news and information coming through with this as well and you know with the in the context of mars also coming into square with the nodes this week it's possible that this information that we're finding out, that we're learning about, the this expanded viewpoint that we're gaining, this expanded sense of clarity, this expanded sense of understanding could be contributing to the this contention that we're possibly feeling in terms of the past and the future. And like I said, this Mars in square to the North Nodes is also going to be triggering and activating the eclipses that happened during Gemini season. So it may bring up themes and things that started then with the eclipse with those eclipses back up back around and you know with Mars there we are just feeling motivated to act on them and we need to be motivated to act out of passion and motivation and um, righteousness and true authenticity and not out of impulsiveness and anger and aggression and you know use the the Mars to go to battle or to go to war with our past or with our future because those things are very primed with this energy as well. So guys, that's really all the business is for today. You know, like I said, we have that mo the moon coming into a conjunction with Mars overnight. This tension is building all day. So if you're feeling just sort of like this internal like angst or frustration or irritation, that's what that is. The best outlet for this is to find something constructive to put your energy into, something that you can be passionate about, something that you can be motivated about, and to use that as a creative outlet for this energy instead of letting this energy use you to create conflict, disturbances, aggression, and like battle in your life in regards to whatever is causing these irritations in regards to what you're trying to let go of and move on from and what you're trying to move into at this point in time. So that is really all that I have to tell you guys about the energies today. Another like this week is going to just be a week of like floods of information and we need to be very careful of course about what we're believing to be true this really if you remember when we're talking about the eclipses being reactivated this was also the period of time when mercury was in gemini and was in square three times to neptune in pisces and there was just a lot of illusion and delusion and false information disinformation mixed in with the truth that was trying to make its way to the surface at that point in time these themes coming back again now so we're definitely going to want to do the thing where we look inwards for the answers where we use our internal compass as our navigation system and we are we need to be very very careful of taking for fact things that are coming through the media things that are coming through the news things that are coming through various like thought leaders and thought authorities we really need to be grounded in our own um, what resonates with us and in our own truth with this and navigate our decisions in this cycle in accordance in alignment with the truth that's in our heart and soul and what is authentic and what is right for us as we go through this Leo new moon cycle where we're all being reborn into our own personal creative self-expression and authenticity in one area of our life or another so you guys there it is, um, a pretty nice day. Just, you know, watch that Venus Neptune, the whole relationships thing. Don't, you know, jump into commitments right now. And 
big information coming this week, but remember to use your gut, your internal navigation system as your guide, guiding force through this process. So if you guys liked my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, leave me comments. I love your comments. Ring the bell every time, or ring the bell if you want a notification every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was able to give you something to help you through your day. And please tune in tomorrow for my astrological outlook of the day. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, everybody. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.